Hurry up now then. So we're down at Go Outdoors, having a little look around and it's absolutely bizarre that everybody looks like a bloody pirate. The bloody masks on. It's mental in it. I've just come down to have a look, see if they've got any sale on. It doesn't look like they've got a huge amount of stocking actually. If you look here at the actual bikes and stuff behind me, you can see a lot of it is empty. Now as many of you know I am looking at getting an e-mountain bike and I'm looking at around the £5,000 range. And I was looking at the Cube Hybrid Team 160. But there's a, apparently there's a three month waiting list to get hold of one now. So if any of you have got any suggestions on a good e-mountain bike for around that price, I'll be getting it on the Chucky Chucky of course, I'm not going to be paying for that. Certainly not now, I've just lost my job. But anyway, so here we are in Go Outdoors and we'll see if we can find a bargain and whether we can get any more Bauhaus, I think it is, or Montane trousers. A um, little bit quiet on the channel I realise but Let's go over and have a look at some of the tents while we're here. Now if you remember the tent that I actually had, that's way too big for wild camping, was it's like a bloody coffin and I wanted something that was a little bit more wild camping, a little bit like a two-sizer like this or even like that blue one there. But I'm told Go Outdoors do have a, is it a Van Gogh? And a few people have actually mentioned, as you see there's one here but that's too big, that's 160. So that's too big for wild camping, that's going to take a few bloody backpack up. So let's just go around and see if they've got any more. I want something that's a little bit smaller. In fact, I can see some around here. Let's come and have a look. Oh, it's like a ghost town around here. It's really, really weird. In fact, is that the one? No, again, that's just way too big for a solo wild camper. It's going to be one of these two here. What's this, the Vango? Vango Nevis 200. See, that's probably the one at 99 quid. I think that would do absolutely perfect for wild camping. And what else have we got over here? See the Fox one too, that's the one that I had. But once you've got your gear and everything in, there's very little room for you to be able to actually move. What else have we got here? Again, I think this is just slightly too big. I think that's overkill. 115 and that is the Van Gogh Nova 200. I think this is probably the one. Actually, they're the same size, it's hard to tell. What is this? The Nevis 200. You're going to want something that's, that's not going to take your whole backpack up but isn't going to break the bank either. Uh, actually, what's this one over here? Let's have a look at this one over here. What have we got here? There we go, one man tent. Bobcat one. It's not a bad little thing, is it? That's not a bad thing at all. You've got enough to get all your gear in, and you've got a canopy. That's not bad at all. If any of you've got any experience with these, only 70 quid at half price. One man tent Bobcat. Oh, please, ladies and gentlemen, do let me know. But that looks quite a cool, especially if you get that far side against a wall in the wind. That is not a bad thing at all. Quite liking the look of that. Let's see what else I've got in. Now, these are the mountain that you've seen on my videos when I go hiking and camping, but I've noticed the new generation are really, really thin, and the ones that I've got are a lot, lot thicker. Whether there's a different actual uh, make and model here, but these, how much are these? There's no price on them. Why is there no price on them? Oh, yes, there is. There you go. 61. I think I paid around 75 for mine, so they're not bad, but they are definitely thinner than the ones that I had before. So maybe they've changed the model. Yeah, these are just really, really thin. God, they're expensive, some of the things out there. It's like if you're looking, 126 quid for them. Why are they 126 quid? Actually, they've got quite a nice back leg there, a textured material. But uh, I certainly won't be paying 126 quid for them, it's just mental. I'm sure you can get cheaper online if you actually go and look somewhere. Rab, another good make. Yeah, how much are those? They see they're 99 quid and they're pretty much exactly the same. But yeah, probably end up just buying a drink. As you can see, they go outdoors.
You see, the problem I have, I've got when I come to outdoors is I always end up buying something that I actually don't want. And that's the problem, isn't it? Oh, I need one of these, I need one of them. You don't actually need one. It's just because you're here. It's like every time I go to bloody B&Q or MFI, I end up bloody buying something that I don't want. You've got some Solomon 5D Mark IIs. I don't need any more bloody shoes. But since the sale on, we'll see if we can find some cruisers and have a look down at men's section. Look at this dashing haircut. Did it myself, you know. <laughs> now we're talking. And you see, I need to do a video actually on my bushcraft knife because I got my uh, I got my knife actually from here at Go Outdoors. And you see, we've got Leathermans in as well. Yeah, really, really low on stock as you can see here on vast majority of things here. I've hardly got anything. I need to stay away from all these gadget stuff because I always end up buying something I actually don't bloody need. Oh, gadget. Gadget. Plunger. <laughs> the old thermoboil. Oh, we've got to do some. We've got to do some more wild camping this this year. We've got to get out and do something. Two for twenty-five. That's not bad, is it? Go on. We'll grab a couple. Well. I got told I'm not allowed to film in there because in case you film any kids, fuck's sake, what a world we bloody live in. I'm quite obviously pointing the camera at bloody clothes and stuff. And if you were a kiddie fiddler, I don't think you'd just want a, a, the shot of a kid running around, would you? You'd be online looking at fucking filthy stuff. Fucking ridiculous, man. The world's gone to fucking low fat soya coconut latte bollocks. Absolutely sick of the way the world's going. Jesus Christ. Anyway, bye bye.